Hello there, Gipper Sarah, Gipper Sarah LLC. Um, today is August 2nd, 2019. I'm going to build some um, a quail hutch for my quail to hopefully get them out of the shed and somewhere they have a little bit more room to move around and hopefully be able to stay a little bit cooler. This is what I'm going to be using here. It's what I got from a construction site. Got some nails in it, so I'm going to end up uh, taking those nails out and I'll probably end up uh, cutting this one here in half to try to get more than one leg or just. I'm gonna take a look, see what I can do. All right, so I got this board here. It's one of the biggest ones we have. It's about 10 feet tall, so I'm gonna cut it in half right there. But first, I'm gonna slice it in half this way. Also, actually, I might just cut it in half here first to make it a little bit easier to cut in half the long one. These will be my legs, so it'll be about five feet tall. So let me get everything set up and get started on that. All right, I got everything set up. Let's get started with these cuts. So I got my board cut. These uh, right here are five feet tall. That's gonna be the uh, height of my cage. Well, the top of it's gonna be five feet tall. The cage itself is only gonna be like two feet. Now I'm making it, uh, these here are six feet wide. This will be the front board. Uh, this one's gonna be the back board. So it's gonna be uh, five feet high by six feet wide and about uh, three feet in depth. The reason I'm using three feet is um. Well, there's a reason why it's going to be three feet uh, in depth and then two feet tall. I'm going to show you guys right All now. All right, so this hardware cloth right here is going to be my uh, floor. You can see it's three feet wide, ten feet long, and half an inch. Uh, the little squares are half an inch. That's going to be my floor. And then the um, side of the walls is going to be this one here. This one's 24 inches tall, 15 feet long. It's got a one inch by one inch square hole in it. So... That's why the uh, it's gonna be a uh, three feet depth and then uh, two feet tall, just that way I don't have to cut wire, make everything a lot easier. I'm trying to keep it simple. All right, so I measured from the top two feet down, and I marked it, did it on uh, both sides. So what I'm gonna do now is grab this piece of wood here. Uh, sorry, I didn't want to hit it again, but I'm gonna align it there, and then align it on that side there, and then screw it in and then that'll give me uh, one side of it and I'll do the same for the other side and then uh, once I get that done I'm actually going to carry it each individual piece into the chicken coop and design the rest of it and I'll finish building it inside the chicken coop and the reason being is just because um, well I don't want to design the whole thing and then try to figure out how to put a three foot by five foot tall cage into the chicken coop without having to knock down any walls. All right, so I got it on at, the only thing I'm thinking about, I wonder if I should do is, um, I think maybe taking these boards off and putting the wire on now. That way it'll be underneath the, the board, have a little bit extra support that way. I think I might end up doing that, so um, yeah. I think it might be a little bit easier if I do it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so I stapled it. I just put one staple on each corner. I'm going to screw this back in and uh, go from there. All right, so I stapled that whole front end and didn't realize that only half of it's going to have wire. The other half isn't. So I'm just going to leave it on for now. And then uh, I'll cut it off later and figure it out. What I'm going to do is uh, I found some boards. So I'm going to run the, the top one on it now. And I'm going to measure three feet in and then put the inside in on this side. I'm going to make this half here the uh, the boarded upside, and this will have my open side. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the boards for the top, and then I'm going to 
go from there. So let me get that done, and then uh, I'm gonna see from there what else I can get done today. A quick side note, real quick, when you're working with a recycled wood or wood from a construction site, is always a uh, be careful where you cut. I don't know how good y'all can see that. Maybe here if I put it straight on there. See that end there's a little crooked. Uh, the other end straight. So I'm gonna cut that end off and use this end here. I've got a uh, my top board cut. I'm gonna cut this to put in the middle between those two boards right here, just like so. And then uh, once I do that, I'll uh, go ahead. Uh, stretch that screen out across as best as I can and cut off the excess of it. So let me get that done. All right, so I got that middle board there. So uh, this is three feet here. So I have it this way a little bit. So obviously I'm losing a little bit on this side. That's why this side's gonna be my completely boarded up area. And this will be my open side. Now both sides will have doors though because uh, I do plan on putting a sandbox in here. And I'm sure uh, with having a sandbox in here, they're probably going to be laying their eggs inside the sandbox, so I'm going to need to have access to it to get into it. I'm going to put a board across here in the front so as to, uh, uh, with a little door to give them access in and out. That way, if it gets too hot during the day, they can go in and escape. If it starts raining or something, they can go in and uh, get out of the water. So, all right, let me flip it over and uh, tighten this wire up and end up cutting the rest of it and stapling it. Well, this is the frame of my door. I went ahead and cut those two sides, measure them, make sure they fit in there, and then those right there. So I've already marked it where I'm going to cut it at. So let me do that cut and then get it all together. And then I don't think I have any hinges, so I'm going to have to go to Lowe's to get hinges. But I'll wait till tomorrow because I still got to figure out how I'm going to do the door over here. All right, so there's my door for the closed side. And uh, just realized that. I'm gonna say I messed up, but no, live and learn. Um, if I'm gonna do the door on this side the same way I did it over here, I shouldn't have put the screen on it yet. I should have waited. That should have attached the screen to the actual door itself, but that's fine. I'll just cut it out and uh, attach it afterwards. So, unfortunately, that's all I can do for right now on this side here, because even on this door, I'm not even gonna attempt this door yet, because I don't have any hinges or anything. I'm gonna have to run to Lowe's tomorrow and buy some hinges. So. What I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to start working on the uh, back side of the, of the quail hutch. All right, it's a little hard to see, but I got some of the back already done. It's, uh, this is all I'm going to do for right now. i got to cut the uh, insides here. I don't know how good you all can see, but I already have it marked. I have a little arrow pointing which way the wood's going to go in. But I already put all the stuff up because it's getting late and uh, I don't want to be cutting wood out here in the dark. So um, that's probably it for tonight. And then I'll hopefully I can continue and finish this up tomorrow. All right, so I got my door on on this side here. So I got a swivel lock on it so I can. It's a little hard, sorry. Oh, there you go. So I see it'll swivel lock like that. And the only thing I did have to do, I made a modification because I did have it originally coming up and resting on the board but it wasn't fitting on there good. So uh, I tried sanding, it was just taking too long. So I just ended up cutting. What I'm gonna end up doing is I'm putting another piece of board here to cover up that gap. And I'm gonna do something similar to this over here for, uh, for the door. So let me get started on that there. I ended up buying um, a 12 pack of these here since I had to do more than have any of these in packs. So I had to buy these individually. But I like this here because it gives me the option to lock it. I might put something on the back to keep it from flinging all the way through, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, that's what I have so far, and it is already a Saturday morning. It's about 9.50. I've been at it since about, well, I, I was going to say about 7.30, but I had to go to uh, Lowe's and get some supplies. So let me get that side there, uh, a door on there, and uh, go from there. I'm going to try my door built. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of figure out what I'm going to cut. So I'll probably cut here, here, all the way down to here. And then up and then same thing across the top right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that started. Then I'll staple it on here and then I'll attach it. And then I'll get rid of any uh, 
hopefully not too many sharp edges. I'm going to try to cut it as close to the uh, to the weld as I can. Uh, I don't know how good you can see, but I got my my hole here cut out. Got it on here, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on, add that door to it, and then that should be it for this side. Then I'll start on the back, hopefully finish it up. All right, so I got my other door up. So that's it for the front side for right now. Oh, wait, now I got to put the, uh, I'm going to, I don't know, I might just leave it like that for now. If I have any leftover wood, then I'll go ahead and I'll uh, put something right here to kind of flush it. But that's it for this side. I'm going to start working on the back side. And once I get done with that, I'll move it into the chicken coop and uh, finish it up in there. All right, try to my middle board there. And I added some out here just to kind of put it flush so I can put my uh, wood on this side. And then my screen on this side. And it'll be perfectly flushed and connected on there. So I don't think I have any pieces of wood that are big enough to, to cover this whole thing up. But I'm going to check but I doubt it. Well, I try to use two pieces of wood on here but I got it on there. Uh, might be a little bit of a gap but nothing too bad. Then uh, I'm going to put the screen on this side here and then hopefully I can start moving everything into the uh, chicken coop for the final stages of it. Uh, I tried a piece of wire that was a little short so I ended up uh, Touching the half inch by half inch here. That one's two feet long, just a little bit of it. So I end up attaching this one here with a J clips, as you can see. So I'm going to finish uh, putting this on here. I'll probably end up cutting it real quick and then I'll end up uh, finishing up. All right, so the screen's up. Uh, these J clips should hold. One thing I should have done though is I should have gone through and cut. I cut these already, but I should have come through before I added the J clips on it. But live and learn. So that side's done. The other side's done. Now, another thing I'm contemplating is don't want to do, and I probably will, three feet from pretty much that here to the other, which I think will be the easiest. I have to make a couple cuts to get around the legs with the. Uh, with the screen, but I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. So let me figure out how, how I'm gonna do that and then uh, I'll get back. Uh, real quick, so I wanna do about three inches between, or not three inches, I wanna do three feet between uh, pretty much from here to here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, let's see. So I got about three and a half inches, a little bit less, but I'll just say three and a half, round up. And then about three inches here, so it's six and a half inches. So from six and a half inches minus 36 inches, that's what three feet is, that gives me 29.5 inches. So that's the boards I gotta cut in between. Let me make sure, sorry. I'm directing one hand again. Down here it's the same, let's see. Yep, three and a half inches and three inches, so. All right, so I need two boards, both of them, or uh, two two by fours cut, both of them at 29 inches. So uh, let me get that done on this side, and then I'll do the other side. I already got my boards cut. I marked solid and solid on those two, and then wire on the other ones because the uh, solid ones. I guess it wouldn't really matter, but the, uh, the ones on the solid, I guess, because of that. Uh, board on there it gives it half an inch more than the other side but so I had to count for that so that's why I'm marking just so it'll so I have the same side on each side and it'll be three feet across evenly. Oh, I got the bottom boards on them. The wire one and that one there I'm gonna do the top ones right now it's really starting to take shape now so I think it sucks that I'm out in the sun now no more working in the shade. I'm actually thinking for extra support, I might add a leg here and on the back just to give me a little bit more uh, stability and support. Feels pretty solid, but eh, better safe than sorry. All right, so I have it all somewhat framed. I'm gonna probably, uh, so I'm only gonna go wire halfway. Probably gonna throw a uh, two by four across this way. Then I'll put another one on the bottom to support the wall that's gonna go here. Uh, it actually looks like 
Yeah, they're a little bit off, but it happens. And then um, in here, I'm probably gonna throw another two by four from the bottom coming across this way to support the uh, piece of wood I will put here for the uh, for their uh, dust bath. And then uh, see about putting some legs on this. Maybe I'll do the legs next and then go from there. It's um, 120 right now. I have somebody coming over here in a little bit to help me put up a TV antenna. But then from there, I got a, a retirement party that we're catering slash I was invited to at 5.30. So I don't have any more plywood to put on top. There's somebody who's got plywood I can have, but I got to go pick it up. And I'll probably have to do that tomorrow if time permits. So I'm going to see what I can get done today. And then whatever I can, I'll just finish up tomorrow. All right, so I got some center legs put in. I got my uh, bracket in the middle. So I know that the uh, top thing is only going to come up to here. I got a... Uh, this bracket here because I'm going to put the wall right here for the chickens to or chickens have quail can come in and out. I got this board here with a little bit of a step in it. I'm going to put a solid board down here, solid board here. Then this side here I'll have um, sand in it so they can take a dust bath in it. And then I'll have a wired bottom all the way up to here. So, and then up here will be a solid board. So I'm probably gonna see what else I gotta do. I probably, I don't have any solid boards right now, any uh, plywood or anything, so I might just pull it out and flip it over with its legs up and uh, put the bottom screen on it. All right, so I have it flipped over, so I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, go grab the wire, the half inch wire to put down here, and I'll do the half inch wire on top and then the one inch on that side over there. And then hopefully, uh, then that'll just leave me with having to put plywood on it. Hopefully I can go get some tomorrow. All right, so I have the bottom of it wired. I ended up taking out the, off the legs. Hey, here, here, just go straight. I did cut these corners here and just kind of fold it over a little bit. Fold it over the side here to give it a little bit extra support. Same thing over here, but then put those legs back on. I'll flip it back over and maybe do the top if I have time. All right, well, it's Sunday already and it's pretty late, it's already 12.09, but I got the uh, all the wiring done all the way around it, so next I'm going to go get that wood up. My buddy said I could have and then hopefully finish this off. Alright, so I got these two things of wood, and it's nice because um, it's so hard to see, but I mean, I've got some 2x4s, got two pieces of plywood, and it's got these big pieces of uh, plywood on the top. So the only thing is um, it's all screwed in together, so I'm going to take those screws out, which is nice because I can always reuse those screws too. So let me uh, get that started and hopefully, I doubt I'm going to finish it. I've been dragging butt all day, a little hungover, but see what I can get done. All right, so it's completed. Got the roof on, got the screen all around. Um, the thing I might end up doing is putting a, extending this up maybe like a foot or so and putting a shade, a big piece of board over it so it'll give it a little bit more shade and then I do want to put a uh, soft water and a uh, feed system in it but I'll do a separate video on that so this video is already pretty long as it is. Um, one of the things I did do is I ran a 2x4 across the bottom here, this side here and on the back there. This is for that just to give the uh, screen a little bit more uh, protection because I just stapled it in I don't know that was going to hold so just did that as a uh, backup and then I got some sand in here not too much I gotta go get some more but I'll fill this up with dirt and let them take their uh, dirt baths in there or dust baths but this is uh what I got right here let me close it up to give you guys a view but yeah this is it right here so this is it for now said so I'll, I'll do the roof a uh, a self water and a feeder then i'll do a separate video on that but um thanks for watching like and subscribe